In this video, we're going to look at sequences and how to find missing terms in sequences. So let's have a look at some typical exam questions. Here's a sequence of numbers 30, 25, 20, 15 and 10. And it says write down the next two numbers in the sequence. So let's see what's happening to the sequence each time. So from to get from 30 to 25, you're going to take away 5. To get from 25 to 20, you're going to take away 5. To get from 20 to 15, you're going to take away 5. So each step is going down by 5 each time, or we're taking away 5 each time. So 10 take away 5 would be 5, and 5 take away 5 would be 0. So the answer is 5 and 0. Next, fill in the two missing terms in this sequence. So this time we've got this term and this term we need to find. So let's see what's happening with the sequence. And that's the most important thing with these questions, is seeing what's happening with the sequence. So to get from 31 to 29, you take away 2. To get from 29 to 25, you take away 4. Oh, so this time this we're taking away 2, then we're taking away 4. Then to get from 25 to 19, we take away 6. Okay, so each time we start off by taking away 2, and then take away 4, take away 6. The next one would be take away 8. So 19 take away 8 would be 11. Then it would be take away 10. Well, 11 take away 10 is 1. Fantastic. And then finally, take away 12. 1 take away 12 is negative 11. So the two answers are 11 and negative 11. Okay, the next question says, here's another number sequence. And we have got the numbers 160, 80, blank, 20, 10, blank, 2.5. Now this time, to get from 160 to 80, you would half it. And also to get from 20 to 10, you would half it. So notice that this sequence, you're dividing by two each time. So you divide by two, you divide by two, you divide by two, you divide by two, and so on. So 160 divided by two is 80. 80 divided by two is 40. 40 divided by two is 20. 20 divided by two is 10. 10 divided by two is five and five divided by two is 2.5. So we find the two missing numbers in the sequence. Okay, this time, this sequence increases by the same amount each time. So that means that to get from eight to this number, we would add something, and to get from this number to 20, you would add something, and it would be the same number each time. So overall, to get from eight to 20, well, eight take away tw uh, 20 take away eight is equal to 12. So to get from eight to 20, you would add 12, well, to get halfway, you would add 6, and then add 6. So let's check. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 6 is 20. So that's right. Next question. This time, the sequence increases by the same amount each time, and it goes 4, blank, blank, 25. So that means we're going to add something. We're going to add it again. And we're going to add it again, and we're going to get to 25. So 25, take away 4 is equal to 21. That means that overall we go up by 21. And we do it in one, two, three steps. Well, 21 divided by three is equal to seven. That means we're gonna be adding seven each time. Add seven, add seven, add seven. So in these questions, see how many, uh, see what you go up overall from the uh, first number to the last number, and then divide it by how many steps you need to do. So in this question you need to do one, two, three. So add seven, four plus seven is 11. 11 plus seven is 18, and 18 plus seven is 25. Okay, and finally, this time it says the sequence increases by the same amount each time, and it goes 20, blank, 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 40. So there's one step, so we'd add a number to 20 to get here. We'd then add that number again to get here. We would add that number again to get here. We would add that number again to get here. Let's see what we got up overall. So 20, or 40 take away 20 is equal to 20. So overall, we got by 20 in one, two, three, four steps. So 20 divided by four is equal to five. That means we're gonna add five each time. 20 add five is 25, plus five is 30, plus five is 35, and plus five is 40. So that's it. That's how you find missing terms and sequences.